All right, I'm Justin Blount, and your name is? My name is Josh Nobiling, N-O-B-I-L-I-N-G. And what is your job here at Wesley College? Art professor, visiting assistant professor of art. Okay. I just feel sad about it. I've been here for, this is starting my 10th, would be starting my 10th year, including when I was adjuncting here. So I've, you know, I've, uh, I've been here a long time and I like the small Wesley feel and, but you know, uh, but things change and everything has, has its season. So that's kind of my attitude about it. But it's, it's sad, it's, it is, it's a bummer. Okay. I, yeah, I mean, I, I really know very little about what went on in administration or the ins and outs of how it came to this. Um, so, you know, having said that, I do wish this wasn't happening. You know, I, was, I would have probably stayed here. I would have been happy here um, from here on out, you know. Uh, my wife and I bought our first home here in town right down the road and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that kind of makes things a little, bit, <laughs> a little more difficult, but... Okay. Um, yeah, but I'm bummed, you know, but it, it's that's kind of the breaks. And it's I pretty know. much you're saying, like, if our school was still staying, then you would still be here until well, pretty much, I guess, you retire. Pretty yeah, much. If, if I had the chance, I would have. I would have been happy here. Yeah, so. Okay. Um, but, yeah, but that's the breaks. And, you know, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it really is a what do you do situation. I yeah. mean, a lot of people are getting really upset about it, and I'm upset about it plenty too, and my wife and stuff. And but at the same time, you can only let something eat at you so much, and it's just you just gotta say, well, what am I gonna do now, or you know, figure something else out, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I mean, the obvious one is to say students, but students pass through all the time. So, I mean, that's that changes even if I stayed here. Um, it's it's like, uh, you know, any I've made friends with faculty here, and there's just people I encounter, you know, just that work here, part of the campus community that I see, and they're pleasant people to see, and it's, you know, and it's, it's sweet, and, you know, and, uh, you know, so that kind of stuff, the people I've met that, that I've become friends with, but just like any group of friends, like when you graduate uh, from undergrad, you yeah. know, or grad school and everything, you know, your cohort moves, they scatter. So, I mean, you know, being that we've left our home area in Illinois and moved out here, you know, you, you know, people, people move different places and that's kind of how it is. So yeah. I, I'm not too bummed about, about it because it's not like everybody's dying or something, you know, <laughs> yeah. but, but um, I've... I'll, I'll miss that. I'll miss the camaraderie, you know, that I've uh, developed, you know, yeah. uh, here. So, and the smallness. I do like the, the small setup. Out of all the places I've worked, uh, before I was full-time here, there's, uh, you know, this place stood out because things run efficiently, like different the interdepartmental things or yeah. what have you, um, getting answers or getting approvals and things like that. It runs really smoothly here. Okay. So... Yeah. That's a that's an interesting question. Um, I it's hard to say. You know, I've tr I try to be helpful if I can. Yeah. Um, it's been a tricky position for for me in that you know I mean all of my undergrad and grad school was in the fine arts and painting and drawing and printmaking and stuff and art history. So you know, there's never been a studio art program. Yeah. So as far as professionally, um, I don't know how much of what I teach applies to, you know, I have that mentality every semester that no one in here is going for studio art. Yeah. So I try to just, I guess, just, you know, teach things that, you know, some skill set that might help them express themselves or give them a uh, feeling of, um, like, a inner, you know, Believing in their abilities and their creative potential, and how, and so, you know, I try to mention how creative thinking, you know, is important in any field. Yeah. You know, so I try to. So professionally, I, I don't know if I have or not. Um, uh, and then, you know, I've made friends with students over the years, you know, yeah. and um, 
and then they get older and you said sometimes they get married or sometimes you know uh, you know all that stuff and I've had students you know that I've kept in touch with asking questions you know sometimes ask for a letter of recommendation or yeah I get mail from uh, some students still and well, and things good. like that and like uh, one student's mother sends me devotionals every once in a while and she always includes a little note and just says how are you doing and you know it's very nice you know mm -hmm. very sweet and, and um, so I don't know I mean I think I like to think I was maybe helping with something but but I don't know I only I kind of also if someone asks me for help I'll do my best to help if it's in my you know capacity but um, other than that I don't know how I would I don't know how I could know how much I've helped students you know um, outside of what I do in the classroom yeah. you know so with visual thinking and, and um, creative thinking and things like that but I don't know I don't know <laughs> the answer is I don't know. <laughs> so I assume like your main goal out of this is to get students to think more freely and creative, I guess, in all aspects of everything. Like not just like art, but like of everything. Yeah, I mean, you know, like as you know, my classes are, are about, you know, painting and drawing, so that's yeah. mostly but I try to throw in little little bits of wisdom or or I guess one one main thing I always try to do is bring everybody to a place of confidence because uh, over the years teaching here I've, I've heard it so many times I'm not an artist I'm not creative and actually interestingly enough that's changed over the years I used to have a lot more students everybody oh I can't draw it oh I'm not an artist but now people I think people maybe maybe you're just getting more I, I like to think people are just get more comfortable with the, the idea that they are an artist because they are human and that's a human quality you know so that may be a good thing. But yeah, I mean, so I, I'd really like, if anybody walks away from any of my classes, I hope the one thing they get is an inner confidence and, and a realization that no one can really tell you what to do on this piece of paper. And it's a world that you can own and create and go into and you can solve real life problems. Mm -hmm. You can uh, do things like that and um, hopefully they walk out and maybe down the road they'll they'll find comfort in expressing themselves that way, or you know, because um, it is an outlet too. It's a stress reliever. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it never and that never goes away in my experience. You know, anytime I, if I'm really stressed, if I sit down, wrestle myself down to do it, it does soothe me. And I and I think about what it's, what I have going on that's stressing me out, and it kind of all settles. Um, so I like people. I like to think that if people could adopt this hobby if you will or you know activity then they'll um, it'll improve their their quality of life in some way you know so i'd like to give people the confidence to do it because otherwise they're not gonna a lot of times people think oh i'm no good uh, i'm not i can't do this i'm not an artist that's not for me it's like no but it, but it is for you and it's there for you okay so that's my little ramble about that so <laughs> yeah you know 